So we looked at a database of over 500 acute stroke patients, identified 207 of them who had had their cholesterol levels measured within 15 days either before or after their acute stroke. Uh, and we found that about half that group were on the statins or cholesterol lowering drugs and about half were not. And so we actually had a built-in comparison group to say, huh, is the statin lowering drug helpful in reducing the severity or recovery of acute ischemic strokes. What we found was quite intriguing, which was that the severity of strokes that these patients presented with was roughly the same in the emergency department and the first day within the hospital. But the patients who were on the cholesterol-lowering drugs or statins had a better recovery prior to leaving the hospital than did the patients who were not on the cholesterol-lowering agent. It appears that there are multiple mechanisms that may be at play. Statins seem to have a ability to dampen our immune system and our own inflammatory response to stress. So when, uh, when a vessel is blocked in the brain and you've got an acute blood loss, an acute stroke to a portion of the brain, there's a, there's a portion of the brain that simply cannot survive. There's another kind of area that's called the penumbra, which is a portion of the brain that doesn't get quite enough blood that it would like. It might or might not survive. So by dampening the inflammatory process, it's possible that the statins help to allow this penumbra or borderline area around an uh, infarct or stroke to survive instead of die. From the clinical perspective, we do suggest that more research is necessary. This was a data registry type of study which allows for some hypothesis generating or when compiled with other studies may begin to change practice. But it's intriguing enough that it would begin to raise questions such as should patients who are at risk for stroke be on a cholesterol long agent or statin even if their cholesterols aren't high? That's the key question. We don't feel we fully answered that yet, but we do feel that uh, we, we're creating a body of evidence to suggest that might be something to consider. From the patient perspective, I think that this helps lend credibility to the importance of the statin drug. So if your cholesterol is high, there's already a mountain of evidence to suggest that if you're on a cholesterol-lowering agent because your cholesterol is high, you're less likely to have a heart attack or a stroke. And now we have evidence to say, and if you do have a stroke, you're more likely to have a, a better recovery or better outcome from it. So from the patient perspective, I think it just adds one more argument for the use of these agents uh, for those at risk.